Hi there. This is Dr. John Wickham talking about neural exosomes. Bet you'd never heard of them. I hadn't. What are they? Uh, they aren't rare. You have about 1.2 billion of them for every cc or millimeter of blood. 1.2 billion. That's a lot. Now, this is how they operate. When a nerve cell transmits a message, it makes a little tiny package of membrane with neurotransmitter in it that travels across to the next nerve cell. So cells are already used to transmitting messages very quickly. That's one principle. They're basically a little bit larger than those tiny vesicles that transmit when your brain sends messages. But they don't just have neurotransmitters in there. They have microRNA and DNA and other proteins, all that participate in sending messages long distance, much further than just between two nerve cells. Now, here's the interesting conundrum. Your chromosomes are only 2 to 3% your proteins. What's the other 97%? Well, it's not junk DNA. It's not even repetitive wasted stuff. It's actually all critical, crucial stuff. It's the instruction manual that tells your body what to do when. So how can we take this very tiny single cell egg and turn it into this fantastically complicated human being? That's the messenger, the microRNAs that you're sending all over your body. And neural exosomes are what we're beginning to find out are exactly where those microRNAs end up. They're sending out the messages that tell you how to respond at each stage in your growth. Well, it's not just growth that they respond to, it's also disease. For example, did you know that we can tell you about 10 years in advance that you're going to come down with Alzheimer's because the neural exosomes have it written out in them that that's what's there. But it's not just Alzheimer's, it's probably Lyme disease and pneumonia and influenza and just about everything else we get. Which brings to mind that maybe Star Trek had it right when uh, the magic wand that the doctor was using could diagnose everything, just a wave of the wand. Well, maybe not a wave of the wand. But here's the next most interesting thing. There are companies now that are manufacturing or developing the ability to use the large data to read those microRNAs in your blood and tell you just about everything that's going on with you. I just had dinner with one of the scientists working in those labs and he looks at me and he says, what do you do when you find the DNA of over a hundred and fifty different bacteria in somebody's blood and they look healthy to you? Because we can trace such tiny amounts or is it that we're tracing the microRNA? or the neural exosomes. So stay tuned to this idea. I'm not sure we've got it all right yet, but what it is, is it's learning to read your instruction manual and learning to take big data and interpret it. It's going to be a very exciting future. I hope I live long enough to learn it. What will work for me? I'm going to soak up everything I can and we'll put it in this column. Neural exosomes, 1.2 billion for every cc of blood in your body. Fascinating.